Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Amadeo. I know you're watching this video because you want to lose weight. So what I did is put together a video with a colleague of mine to really break down how we get the weight off, why we're so effective, and why other programs fail. So what I want you to do is watch this video. I know it's a little long, but it'll be worth your time. Thank you. Secrets to permanent weight loss and how you can beat the 95% failure rate. How many of you understand that after 12 months, 95% of all people who lose weight on a diet will gain it back plus more? Today, I want to reveal to you why we're having a hard time beating those odds in our country. So the information that I will give you is powerful, but only if you apply it and put it into practice. So for example, I can also teach you how to make a million dollars, right? But if you don't actually do what I tell you to do, will you make that money? Say no. I only want to teach you things that you can not only learn, but apply and make powerful changes as well. So our criteria for our search to help is based on the fact that I am a natural healthcare provider. Anything that we offer to our clients, therefore, must be natural. It must support the body and its functions. It can't just be calories in and calories out because that doesn't fix any of the issues making the body gain weight in the first place. It must make sense to you. By the end of the presentation, the program is going to make sense. It must be easy and convenient because let's face it, we live in the United States of America, and if it's difficult or complicated, we're really not interested in doing it. It must produce quick results. The standard diets offered in our country get approximately one to two pounds a week, if that, and only 40% of the weight that you lose is fat. The rest is muscle. And when you gain it all back in a year, like 95% of people do, 40% of what you lost was fat, but 100% of what you will gain back is fat. So you're the same weight as before you started the program, if you're lucky, but you're actually bigger and fatter than when you started. In our program, you will lose fat at an accelerated rate of potentially three to seven pounds per week. That is without drugs, without surgery, and with little to no exercise. And whatever we provide you must be short term because any kind of impairment to our lifestyle, we will not do for very long. So weight loss can't just be about getting to a desired weight. It really has to be about fixing the underlying causes and the body will lose weight as a side effect. If you go into the game just for trying to get smaller or losing weight, you will always fail because the underlying cause is not getting corrected. Let's talk about some of the things you may have tried so far in your attempt to lose weight and keep it off because in our country, what we're doing is giving people a message that is contrary to the science. What we do is not a fad diet. It is not a low carb diet. It is not your typical calories in, calories out style diet. When you follow these kinds of programs, you tend to fall into the vicious diet cycle. So what does that mean? Well, let's say we decide it's time to lose weight. We're in it to win it. So we start that diet and we decrease our calories and we increase our output, maybe. And if we do it long enough, eating all the foods our countries and diet programs recommend, we will get something called the famine response. The body will slow down the rate that it burns calories. The body will stop burning fat, it will start burning muscle. And it will increase the hormones designed to store fat. Why? Because it thinks that you're trying to kill it. Now all of this hard work and restriction that you're doing, and you're not changing your size and you're not changing your shape. You're eating less calories, you're moving more, and nothing is happening. Does it sound familiar? And then the hunger and the cravings start kicking in. As a result, we're then moved into the feast response, and guess what happens? The fat comes back at lightning speed. Why? Because we've told our body to burn low amounts of calories, but suddenly we're eating high amounts of calories, and all the weight that I work so hard to lose, I gain back. And when I gain that weight back, what I'm gaining back is fat, where what I lost was fat and muscle. Sound familiar? Who hasn't experienced gaining the weight back and being fatter than before? So one way that we try to lose the weight is by using pills, potions, lotions, and drugs. The good news is that it works when you use them. The bad news is you gain weight fast when you stop, and it's 100% fat, making you sicker, sadder, and fatter than you were before. Another method that we try to lose weight, especially in the United States, is bariatric surgery. And at this point, almost everyone has either been through this or they know or love someone who has. Here's the problem. 
First of all, the average cost of bariatric surgery is $10,000 minimum, and it's only an extreme method of calories in, calories out. Let's face it, if I take your stomach to the size of an egg, you have no choice but to eat less and lose weight initially. However, digestive problems are common because half of what you lose is muscle. You see that saggy, baggy, hanging skin whenever you're out of your clothes. 30% of people who do the bariatric surgery will gain the weight back in 24 months, less than two years. And a lot of times the patient's solution to that issue is to have another surgery. And then there's this. When you have a bypass and you, you know, your bowel has been reconstructed, you think you're pretty safe. And I probably went off uh, and ate something I wasn't supposed to. And as I'm walking to the press room, well, I think I gotta, you know, pass a little gas here. So I'm walking by myself. Who's gonna know? Only a little something extra came out. You pooped in your pants. I, I pooped my pants. Uh, not horribly, but enough that I knew. Which is a common side effect of the surgery. Exactly. And so, you know, I was panicking. So I got to the restroom, the press room, threw out. So did you hear what he said? Uncontrolled bowel movements, meaning you think you're going to fart and you accidentally crap yourself, is a common side effect of the surgery. And then there's exercise and fat loss. Now between 1980 to 2000, fitness club memberships more than doubled in the United States because at the time we were being told the reason we were gaining weight was because we weren't moving around enough. But during that same time, not only did fitness club memberships double, but so did the obesity rate. So if we're now exercising so much, why are we all getting so fat? This is because there is not one clinical study that shows exercise alone causes fat loss. Let me say that again. There is not one clinical study, meaning that they did an experiment to prove it, that shows is exercise alone causes fat loss. It causes muscle strengthening. So if you do cardiovascular work, you will strengthen the cardiovascular system. If you do resistance training, you'll strengthen bone, you'll strengthen muscle, but what you will not do is cause fat loss. In fact, the only study that ever tested anything about exercise alone in fat loss followed 4,000 women who exercised 60 minutes a day, six times a week for four years. The average loss shown was four pounds. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to work out six days a week for an hour for four years and only lose four pounds. This occurred because exercise causes muscle strengthening, not fat loss. So it's time to put an end to the fad diets, whatever Dr. Oz is pushing at the time, whatever Oprah is pushing at the time. Because let's face it, if Oprah knew what to do to lose weight, then Oprah would be thin. So what is the reason that some of us fail? When we do take a leap of faith and we do a new diet, there are a couple commonalities that can make us get lackluster results. One common problem is that three out of five Americans are taking prescription medications that interfere with the diet. The good news is that on our program, what we use to correct your metabolism does not interfere with your prescription medication in any way. You're still able to do the medications and the program, however, you must let your doctor in on your secret because let's face it, if you lose 40, 50, 60 pounds, will your high blood pressure go down? Absolutely. Will your blood sugar levels restore back to normal or lower to normal? Absolutely. Because our goal is not only to reduce your medications, but to eliminate them. A huge problem in our country is that we're trying to lose weight and getting healthy eating all the wrong foods. See, the diet industry and the fitness industry loves to tell us that all of our calories that we eat are the same and as long as you consume less than you burn, you will lose weight. This is 100% not true. Certain foods cause chemical changes in the body that signal it to create and store fat. Let's look at some of the foods that you're supposed to be eating but are actually making you fat. So in order for us to do that, I want you to look at the upper left-hand portion of the screen where it shows that one teaspoon of sugar equals four grams. This way you have an idea of about how much sugar is in the foods that we're talking about. The first comparison would be a can of Coke that in one serving has 9.75 teaspoons, comparing it to an Oddwalla naked juice natural fruit smoothie, a green one, which most of the time when they're green they don't taste any good anyway, and it has almost the same amount of sugar as the Coca-Cola at 9.25 teaspoons. Comparison number two, you could have a bag of M&Ms which has seven teaspoons of sugar, or you could have a spaghetti dinner with Prego spaghetti sauce that has 
more than that, 12.5 teaspoons of sugar. The third comparison, you could have three Oreo cookies, which has three and a half teaspoons of sugar, or you could eat a healthy Luna bar, which also has three and a half teaspoons of sugar. So if we fix the problem, the weight's going to come off as a side effect. In this example, one of our clients was a diabetic. She had leukemia. She also had a thyroid condition. Two months later, this is the feedback that we get from her medical doctor. The doctor said she reviewed the results she wanted to provide her with an update. The following test came back normal or within the accepted range. Her thyroid was back to normal. Her electrolytes back to normal. Kidney function normal. Vitamin V12 folic acid level normal. The following tests were outside the accepted range, but they were not clinically significant, meaning the doctor wasn't concerned about them. These would be things like her blood sugar levels, which was mildly elevated, but not super scary. Her hemoglobin was improved from 6.2 down to 5.9. So how are we going to make it easy for you? First, we're going to talk about acidity in the body and how it affects your body's ability to burn fat. Decreased or imbalanced hormones, up to eight different hormones that can be altered on you right now and keeping you from getting you to your goal weight. Nutritional deficiency. Our country has a rampant, overfed, but undernourished symptom syndrome. We're simply eating too much, but not getting the proper nutrition from the foods that we're eating. The toxicity that is affecting your body at the cellular level. Biochemical addiction or dependency. You may or may not know it, but the very foods that we're eating are not only toxic, both to the liver, the fat cells, and the brain, but they are addictive as well. They are, in fact, eight times more addictive than cocaine, which explains why it's so difficult to get yourself off of the foods. Our program is customized for your issues. Let's face it, not everybody is the same. Some people have one metabolic factor, some have none, and some have all five. And any or one of all of these things can interfere with your body set weight. The set body weight is controlled by your hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the body's appetite control center. The hypothalamus controls the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland controls the thyroid. Right now, your hypothalamus thinks that you are at your goal weight. So unless it's reprogrammed, you will always struggle to lose the weight. And there is a 95% chance you will gain the weight back that you lost, usually within one year. So let's start talking about these factors. Problem number one, acidity and water. This is an example of the pH chart. Seven is neutral, anything above seven is alkaline, and anything below seven is acidic. In 1922, there was a scientist named Dr. Otto Warburg, and he proved that if our cell sat in a slightly alkaline state between 736 and 742, the body literally could not produce disease. In fact, he proved and won a Nobel Prize for showing that the body couldn't produce cancer. The problem is we are all acidic and there's three reasons why we are. The first reason is that the actual bottled water that we're drinking is acidic. As a result, the water cannot penetrate the cells and 100% of Americans are dehydrated as a result. The second reason that we are acidic is that all of the pharmaceuticals or the drugs that we take, whether they are over the counter or prescription based, are built off of an acid base. So the very drugs that we're taking in order to correct our problems is actually making it worse. The third reason, which is the biggest one in the United States, by the way, is the foods that we're eating. The foods that most commonly are eaten in the United States of America are acidic foods. Foods like sugar, sugar substitute, bread, cereal, grains, pasta, processed food, packaged food, convenience food. As a result, 70 to 80 percent of us are constipated or we have acid reflux, or we have gas, or we have bloating, or we're hungry a couple of hours after we eat, all of which are signs of acidity. Have I described any of the symptoms you might currently have in addition to trying to burn body fat? And remember, bottled water is expensive, so we're paying for marketing campaigns that are actually lying to us. If we wanted to be better, we would drink tap water, which is really more alkaline than bottled. The problem is it doesn't taste very good. Problem number two. Research says that hormone production begins to decrease globally after age 30, and by the time you're 50, it will actually slow down by 50%. But what do hormones have to do with losing weight? Well, pretty much everything. So, hormones like DHEA. DHEA controls the nervous system. 
It's your body's anti-aging hormone. It's also your body's master hormone. If DHEA is imbalanced, all of the hormones it regulates will also become imbalanced. HGH, or human growth hormone. HGH is at its peak in the teens to early 20s. This is why when we were teenagers, we could eat massive amounts of food and we wouldn't gain any weight. HGH is responsible for the growth of bones, organs, muscle development. However, these days, because the type of food has changed in children's diets, not only are they growing up, but they're growing out as well. Testosterone. Ladies, you have husbands at home. They're tired, they're irritable, they're cranky, they're forgetful, they have brain fog. You give them a to-do list of maybe five or six things. They're lucky if they remember to do one. Let's say one of the things that they remember to do is something physical like mow the lawn, and so a week later they're still sore from it. They also have low sex drive. But ladies, we aren't immune. We get progesterone deficiency. Ladies, we get the thinning hair, the brittle nails, the crepey skin, the lowered sex drive. We get irritable, we get cranky, we get forgetful. We get that lower ab pooch that won't go away no matter what we do. HCG. Now the reason I bring up HCG here in this slide is that it is a hormone and people have used it for fat loss. The program that we use in our office does not use HCG at all. HCG was an extracted hormone out of the urine of pregnant women. They found it to be very effective at losing weight, but it didn't correct the hypothalamus issue as they claimed it did, so people experienced rapid weight gain as soon as they came off the program. So I bring it up here to confirm that this is not an HCG diet. Insulin. Insulin is the hormone that takes your food, breaks it down, and either stores it as muscle sugar or it stores it as fat. It is basically your body's fat storage hormone. Glucagon is the hormone that takes your body fat and converts it into fuel that you use for energy. Here's the problem. When insulin is around, glucagon is not, and that bears repeating. When insulin is around, glucagon is not. So what does that mean? It means that if you are eating foods in your diet that cause your body to release insulin for the next four to six hours, no matter what you do, no matter how much you exercise, no matter how little you're, you're eating, your body will not burn fat. Leptin. Leptin is the hormone recently discovered in the 1980s that signals to the brain that you are full and to stop eating. It comes out of the fat cells and signals that you have enough fat on the body to survive. The problem is that insulin also attaches to the part of the brain that leptin is supposed to attach to. This means that even though your fat cells are secreting leptin, your brain can't hear it. When your brain can't hear leptin, it believes you have no extra body fat to survive. So even though you look in the mirror and you see the body fat, what your brain sees and what it perceives is that you're starving. In response, since your body doesn't want you to die, it will do two things. It will ramp up your appetite and it will slow down your metabolism. The thyroid. The thyroid is a great fat burning furnace. It fuels fat metabolism. However, you do not need one in order to lose weight. Thyroid conditions at most account for a five to 10 pound weight gain when the thyroid is dysfunctional or missing. This is actually good news for you because it means you can still reach your goal weight. We can still get great results for you even if you don't have a thyroid or if your thyroid is dysfunctioning. Cortisol. Cortisol causes weight gain, especially around the abdomen, and it is triggered by extra stress. Now, we can't change or remove the stress in your life, but we can impact how your body is responding to stress. Toxins. Toxins are everywhere. They're in the food, they're in the water, they're in the air, they're in the skin. Now, let's use the skin as the example, because toxins enter the skin through the pores. Now, ladies, think of what you do to the skin just to leave the house. Detergents, soaps, cleansers, shampoo, conditioner, hair products, lotion, cosmetics, sunscreens. If all of these toxins are entering just through the pores of the skin, but you're drinking an acidic water that can't clean the pores out, then the toxicity builds up. Toxins will build up in the fat cells and in the liver, making your body resistant to fat burning. Problem number four, lack of exercise. However, little to no exercise is required on our program. Why? Because exercise alone does not cause fat loss, it causes muscle strengthening. On average, with our programs, less than 5% of people do regular exercise. So we talked about the problems that we identified with losing fat and keep it off. Now, let's talk about the solutions. Solution number one, 
alkaline oxygenated water. Don't be alarmed. This is just a picture of the filter. You do not have to purchase that in order to do our program. The water we provide for you gives you a pH of 8.0 or higher, is much less expensive than bottled water, but let's talk about a different way that you can make the body alkaline because there's more ways than just alkaline water. Another way to raise alkalinity is dark green leafy vegetables. However, we would need to eat bushels of those foods every day so we could overcome all the acidity in our body. But because the body is 70% water, we can use a highly oxygenated alkaline water plus specific physician grade supplementation provided by our office to quickly convert the body from acid to a more alkaline state. As a direct result of our process, your cravings for acidic foods are virtually eliminated. Bread, cereal, grains, pasta, sugar, sugar substitute. The more acidic you are, the more acidic foods you crave. It is not a willpower issue. Suddenly, as we correct your pH, weight loss becomes easy. Solution number two, hormones. The hormones that we use if we determine that you are deficient are liposomal in delivery, meaning it goes through the skin. It is very, very safe because the liver does not metabolize it. Therefore, the dosages are only 1 to 5%. If we feel the need to test you for deficiencies, the doctor will determine that in the evaluation with you. When we work with you, we also are correcting up to four dietary hormones that, if imbalanced, will virtually stop your body's ability to lose weight even when you diet and exercise. When we use supplemental hormone therapy, for men, HGH and testosterone are the two normal ones that we use because they both burn fat and support lean muscle. For women, HGH and progesterone are used because they burn fat and support lean muscle. I just came to the home starting up. I'm 68 years old. I lost it to the in early days. I'm a step to it, never went off of it once. I'm just so happy. I also felt I never didn't have any hurt pains. So I'm sorry we don't have her picture, but because we work with clients all over the country, that was the only thing she could send me. But hopefully you can hear by her voice that she's an older woman. She's firming up, but she's not doing any exercise. So even though our weight loss program is accelerated, you do not see the excess saggy skin as with controversial programs because we push for potentially up to 70% of every pound you lose coming from body fat. Solution number three, the metabolic drops. Our metabolic drops increase a naturally occurring hormone in the body that accelerates its ability to burn body fat. It also includes amino acids to curb hunger and cravings. The most important thing these drops achieve is a breakdown of adipose tissue, which is a fancy way of saying fat, and helps retrain your hypothalamus so that as your body is losing the weight, a new set point is created. Without these drops, you would have to reach your goal weight and maintain it for up to 18 months to create the new set point. To achieve permanent weight loss, neurological as well as physical changes have to occur, otherwise the result is temporary. The drops are taken orally, and when combined with a lower calorie intake, our clients lose potentially three to seven pounds per week. Solution number four, the nutritional detoxification. Remember, our detox process is not a bowel cleanse, but a complete cellular cleanse to remove toxin from the fat cells and liver. This whole body cleanse is customized for you, so more fat comes out of each cell, but more importantly, the liver can break down and convert body fat to fuel at an optimum level. Let's provide you with an example of someone who's toxic. Meet Dawn. Dawn has frequent tiredness, she has low energy, she has flatulence, she's gassy, she's bloating, she has impaired digestion, she's irritable, she has mood swings, bad breath, foul smelling stools, she's occasionally constipated, she has that protruding lower belly or pooch, she has powerful food cravings, especially at night, she has skin problems, she has metallic taste in the mouth, do you think she's toxic? Solution number five, physical activity. While we do highly encourage you to be active, remember, especially in the beginning, it will be optional. 85% of most weight loss and disease issues are coming off of the end of your fork. They are a nutritional problem that has caused a metabolic imbalance. As we correct the imbalance, your body will naturally start doing what it was designed to do, which is reach and maintain its ideal weight. So, our unique program is this. One, it is 100% doctor supervised in our office. 
not your medical doctor. Just because they wear a white coat and a stethoscope does not mean they know advanced proven strategies of nutritional therapy. Two, you can do it in our office, but you do not have to. We treat patients all over the country, so it can be monitored and supervised via phone, email, fax, etc. It is an integrated program, which means the doctor and the staff are working with you throughout the course of your program, making adjustments as we go along to help you reach your goal. And it's customized for you because, again, not everybody has all of the conditions that we work with. During your evaluation, we will determine what solutions to help you with your issues that will work best for your body. Thank you for watching the video. Now I'll help you understand why we're so successful at losing weight. So what I want you to do is call my office at 901-221-8964 to make a no charge consultation and we appreciate your time. Thank you.